All right, so this is my solution for a heated bed on my 3D printer. So when I got this Anycubic Mega Zero, it did not have a heated bed, and it still doesn't technically. But uh, after using masking tape and a variety of other methods to, to try to keep my my prints, you know. To come out right because you know it's got a, the first layer has to stick really good and uh, and even with the masking tape and stuff I, my prints were starting to, to peel up to to warp basically thus ruining the prints so I was trying to think well how can I solve this problem I looked into uh, biting biting to buying a, a uh, like a, an upgrade, an attachment to uh, to put a, he, a heated bed on my Mega Zero, and it wasn't much. It was like less than twenty bucks, but the modifications I would have to do uh, to me is an extreme. I have to pop this thing open and do some modifying, and it's like no. You'd have to upgrade the firmware, apparently. So, I was thinking, okay, what can I do? You know, I, I want to leave my printer intact. I don't want to modify my printer. So, I got this heat mat. And, uh, folded it up and stuck it between the, uh, the bottom of the the print bed and you know on the plate the print bed uh, is attached to it was a tight fit but it's in there and I mean it's pretty warm I don't have a temperature uh, device to test the temperature on it but it's pretty it's probably I'm guessing it's like 90 to 100 degrees and it seems like it's working pretty good so far uh, this this heat man I got it's supposed to it's automatic uh, it's got its own power supply and when it reaches 122 degrees it shuts off automatically and then when it gets down to 95 degrees it'll turn back on so it's main, maintaining a temperature between 95 and 122 degrees so and I don't know what this print bed's made out of but but it's conducting the heat pretty good so it's some it's, it's some kind of metal or aluminum I don't know what it's made out of but it's uh I think it's working out pretty good so this thing cost me like 30 bucks I got, I got this one there were, were cheaper ones but uh, almost all of them like would automatically shut off after, after an hour or two hours which you know a print can go like like this chip clip it, it's going to take about two hours to print it so I got this one specifically this heating mat specifically for its characteristics of being able to maintain a temperature and constantly be on uh, this is the box that came in and yeah this uh pretty good seems like it's working out pretty good so if you want a heat bed on your 3d printer and you don't want to modify your printer buy a heat pad <laughs> and stick it underneath the heat the the print bed you know uh, just research it but 
uh, basically it's a like a turnkey solution for like thirty bucks. You know, in my case, I'm happy with it. It's it seems like it's working out pretty good. All right, talk to you later.